apparently the judges like my picture so much that they, uh, they're going to come down and see me. That's not fair. Well, you haven't got it or you don't, and believe me, I've got it. Really? Eddie, these chips are disgusting. Oh, really? Well, I think it's disgusting what you've done to Ben. That's not fair. All's fair in love and war. And, er, uh, art. Speaking of war, Ben's in trouble. Oh, not you as well. Yeah, well, Stoker's got a plan to do something nasty to Ben. And that is bad because... Because you made him join the army. Would you rather he was moping around here going on about his crisis? Oh, good point. But that's not the point. I mean, you see the cadets. They're rough, tough, mean kids who eat spiders for breakfast. And Ben's a weedy, sensitive, poetry and slippers kind of guy. They eat spiders for breakfast? Look, you got him into this mess, so you've got to get him okay, out. Okay, okay, I'll do something. Really? I'm a nice person. I care about my friends. I'll sort it out. Me and Eddie. <laughs> Fancy a chip? All right, lads. Today's exercise will test you to the limits and beyond. We are up against one of the toughest fighting platoons in the British Army. You'll find yourselves alone in the woods, pursued by hostile forces. Then, what survives will be promoted by General Fortescue, what will be here to observe said exercise. Then, what fails will be out. The question is, lads, are you tough enough to survive? Yes, yes sir. sir. Well, I think so. Well, I hope so. I'm really not too sure. Philip! <laughs> Where's the boy who entered the Young Artist competition? Do you mean Priscilla? No, boy, you mean Poop. Jason something or other. Um, ghastly name, but I need to speak to him. Jason Summerby? That's it. Yes, where is he? What are our tactics, sir? Tactics? I don't want none of that name be paying me rubbish in my platoon. Going into their camp to nick the blue flag thing. But a front of assault, that'll be madness. Don't you worry, Phillips. You are going to stay here and guard our flag. Yeah, but if I stay here, I won't be able to impress the general. Exactly. You stay here, lad. Remember the rules. Don't move the flag, don't touch the radio. And if they pull your armband off, you are out. All right, lads. Let's move out and capture that enemy position. I haven't been so intrigued by young Pender's work for 20 years. Finding you is a bit like discovering a, a new Lucio Fontana. A uh, centre forward, uh, Lazio. Oh, no, 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 silly boy. He's the great Italian painter who slashes his canvas with razor blades and burns holes and makes them very exciting. But you still like my picture, though. You know, it's better than this uh, Fontana geezer. Well, I'm not sure that that's so yet, but the interesting thing about your work is that you have the same approach to extending our perceptions of pictorial space as Fontana, and yet what you do is entirely your own invention. Well, that, that's what Mum said and all, because like she knows about artwork. Because like we got this picture of like a cat in a basket, brilliant it is. It's like you know, little ball of string. I think that's quite enough of your early influences. We'll keep those for when we write the book. For the moment, I need more, more, more pictures. I ain't got no more. <laughs> but New York is falling over itself to exhibit your pictures. There've got to be more. Well, I'll just, I'll just bang them out quickly then. Right, that's the answer. <laughs> bang them out and more strength to your elbow. Yeah. <laughs> more strength to my elbow. We've done it, Terry. Now all you've got to do is take that flag. And we've won. Where's the rest of our platoon? You leave the thinking to me, lad. The day is ours. You are going to be promoted. Gotcha. Oh, no! Looks like front of assault doesn't work after all. Come on, let's go and get the red flag. How's it going, soldier? Guys! Oh, they are gonna get me. Oh, they're gonna be rough to me and then they're gonna pull off my armband and we're gonna lose 
and then Stoker's going to give me no, out the yes, army. Come with me, we'll sort something out. Come on. Come on. Our military career is over, they're gonna win. No, they're not. This is General Fortescue, the exercise is over. Please take your armbands off cannon to Cadet Phillips with your flag and report to me. Thank you, thank you. Hands behind your heads. Okay, follow me. Cadet Phillips reporting, sir. We've won the exercise. What? Oh, I mean, well done, lad. But how did you do it? I was very cunning. Cunning? You lot are so lucky. See, when I'm rich and famous, you'll be able to say you knew me when, uh, when you were starting out. Yeah, well, I agree with Ronnie. As an artist, you're sad. Your pictures are bad. You're driving us mad. Dig it? Mm, I agree with Stuart and little Ronnie also, you know. Your pictures, pfft, rubbish. You know, there is a famous saying, old one too, comes from Italy. When the talkative man paints a picture, the fool, he looks for his shirt. Yeah, well, I don't care what you think. See, matey over there reckons I'm gonna be a star. Do you hear me? A star. He reckons I'm gonna be on TV, in magazines, I'm gonna be travelling all over the place. New York, London, Munich, Paris, everyone will be talking about me. No, they won't. No, they won't. They won't? Why not? Because I was wrong. You aren't the new Fontana. The paintings you've done for me are pure eye rubbish. Doodlings of a dribbling simpleton. Is that a good or bad? Bad, very bad. Couldn't be worse. You're a nasty little fraud. Yeah, well, I don't care anyway. Because, uh, because art is rubbish. You're rubbish. Real rubbish. And there's an end to you. That is cheating, Phillips. You disobeyed direct orders not to touch the radio, and you tricked them into handing over their standard. But I thought you wanted to win. When General Fortescue hears about this lad, you are finished in the army. Finished, you hear me? <laughs> you better say your prayers, Phillips, because here comes the general now. And I demand that Cadet Phillips be kicked out of the army in disgrace for cheating. Love's the sergeant major. I intend to promote him. Promote him? <laughs> Are you sure? The general, general, General Level. Of course I'm sure. And until the general, uh, the the other general that is, returns from the uh, um, uh, the hospital, I'm in charge. You'll jolly well do as I say. Now promote this outstanding young cadet, and that's an order. Well, I can't. He cheated. He broke the rules. That's exactly what we're looking for. This is the army man. We're not playing cricket. There are no rules. There's only victory or defeat. Now, promote him at once, and I think, uh, I think Colonel would be most appropriate. What, what? It's a very important match this afternoon. We can't afford to lose to the cadet, so I don't want any silliness like last time. Oh, but Senor Stewart, it wasn't us, it was Benjamin. Our defence was full of holes, but he let in loads of goals. He said it was his crisis, but we know that it was his. Man has poked your things hard. Yeah, well, let's just hope he's playing for us and not the cadets, eh? Because, well, we need a goalkeeper. Well, what do you think, Colonel? Shall we double them round the course once more, or, uh, shall we have them weed the forest with our teeth? No, I think they've suffered enough, Eddie. Call Stoker over, will you? I'd like a word. Now, well, Sergeant Major Stoker, I'd like to talk to you about socks. Socks? Don't repeat what I say, you worthless worm. Sorry, sir. Now, I've noticed that you have a pair of grey socks. Yes, sir. Regulation issue. Military grey. Yes, yes. But how do you stop them from getting mixed up? You cannot have odd socks in the army, sir. You are only allowed one coloured socks. That is the army way, sir. Great dancing drumsticks! You have the legs of a chicken! Not my legs. My socks. <laughs> Where's Ben? Is he 
playing for us or is he playing for the cadets? He's on his way! Oh, I thought he'd uh, left us behind. I thought he has gone off to join the army. We think he's barmy uh, to join the army, but we'll have to see if it's his destiny. I'll do the poetry around here, thank you. Benjamin! Oh, Benjamin! You come back, you save us from little Ronnie. Yeah, well, I realise that the army's not for me. I mean, they're not even allowed odd socks. Well, is uh, that why you left them, huh? The army is no place for weird, creative types with odd socks. Now, up it, Phillips. Can we have this conversation another time, please? We have to play the cadets. Ben's trying to play well, even if it's not quite working out with the other rejects. Oh, there's another goal. 3-0. What are we going to do? Don't worry, I've got a plan. All oh, right, it wouldn't have anything to do with socks, would it? Look, the cadets are highly disciplined and trained to take orders, right? Mmm, so? So watch this. Right, turn. Uh, no! 